High on the agenda in talks between President Obama and British Prime Minister David Cameron were efforts to convene a conference that would include the Assad government and anti-government rebels. Last week, Prime Minister Cameron discussed such a conference with Russian President Vladimir Putin. Standing with Mr. Cameron in the White House East Room, President Obama said the U.S. and Britain will strengthen the moderate opposition and prepare for a Syria without Assad. But he said he is realistic. There are going to be enormous challenges in uh, getting a credible process going, uh, even if Russia is involved, because we have, still have other countries like Iran and we have non-state actors like Hezbollah. Uh, that have been actively involved. Uh, and frankly, on the other side, we've got organizations like al-Nusra that are uh, essentially affiliated to al-Qaeda. Well, me... Mr. Obama said a peace conference would create a transitional body while power is transferred from the Assad regime. Mr. Cameron said he had frank talks with President Putin, but there were differences over whether President Assad must go. In the end, Mr. Cameron said, all agree on the need for a major diplomatic effort to achieve change at the top in Syria. 80,000 dead, 5 million people forced from their homes. Syria's history is being written in the blood of her people, and it is happening on our watch. The world urgently needs to come together to bring the killing to an end. Andrew Tabler, a senior fellow at the Washington Institute for Near East Policy, says it's unclear what a negotiated transition would involve. A transition, of course, means you know, transiting from one authority to another. Um, and until now, we have not had agreement on that. The United States wants Assad to step aside. Uh, it is unclear from the Russian side whether that uh, will be required as a result of this uh, or if Assad would be able to stay on. With Prime Minister Cameron at his side, President Obama said a peace conference should broker a transition, seek to accommodate ethnic and religious groups, and end the bloodshed. Dan Robinson, VOA News, the White House.